whether you have a flat tire on your three-wheeler, your rotor tiller, a wagon, bicycle, or your car, they can all be aired up without an air pump. And I'm going to show you how. Here we have a flat tire that is so low that we cannot even drive it just a few blocks to the service station. So what we want to do is take half of the air out of the back tire and put it into the front tire using an equalizer hose. This is an equalizer hose that I put together many years ago using vacuum hose material that I bought at a local auto parts store. All you need to do is get two bicycle pump fittings or swivel chucks or Buna in seal deflators as they are sometimes called and stick them in each end of the hose. I have never had a problem with them blowing out as there is a tight fit with the ridges on the swivel chucks keeping them secure. Just make sure that you do not use a hose that it has an ID that is too big. You can find some clear hose in a hardware store that might work just as well. Where to get the swivel chucks is another matter. I took these off some old broken air pumps as I have never been able to find them in any store. But recently, I've been able to find them online. There are many types of air chucks, but I have not had much luck finding ones that do not leak. You can also buy rolls of vacuum hose online. It's very reasonable. Now, to make it work for you, just screw one end of the hose on the flat tire first. You want to hook up the flat tire first, just as a precaution, in case the higher pressure from the full tire causes the hose to blow off, and you are away from it when it does. Make sure that you screw it on tight so as not to cause any leakage. Also, if there is still air in the flat tire, make sure that you fold the hose over and hold it securely so you do not lose any more air. Now, with the hose held tightly in your hand, you are ready to hook up the other end. Now, this hose is about 25 feet long. Uh, I like a hose that's longer than what I need for my own car, because if I'm hauling a trailer or something, so I can have it long enough to reach back into the trailer. Or, and sometimes, I'll use air out of a nearby truck so I don't have to use my other tire and it'll fill up pretty good because those trucks have a lot of air in them. Okay this is going to take about three or four minutes so I'll just speed it up and hurry it up a little bit. Okay now we have enough air to drive on at least for a few blocks or even a couple miles if we don't go too fast. So now we can disconnect the hose making sure that we crimp the hose again so that we do not lose any air. Then we go to the other tire, disconnect the hose and you're off. Now if you feel like you still don't have enough air because you have a long distance to the next source of air then you can always equalize more air from the tires on the other side. If you're wondering how much tire pressure that I have in this 17 inch tire, it is 12 pounds. With larger tires, you would get around 20 pounds. Now, don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments or questions that you have and I'll answer them right away.